So, Christina, yes, you're the hello. screenwriter for the film. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, we wanted to ask you, first of all, what was your relationship with Transformers before Bumblebee? Really? Um, I always loved Transformers as a kid. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I was really bad at transforming Transformers as a kid. Um, so you like the characters but, but not the toys? No, I loved the toys Okay. More. I just was bad at them and I still am. It's embarrassing. Okay. I had to okay. have help the other day transforming my Bumblebee. Okay, they have, <laughs> I, I they got have like, one-step transformers now. So. Oh, they do? Yeah. I like yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the Bumblebee movie script mm. was developed by the writers, or well, it was originated in the writers' room? in theory, is what we know. How was that relationship sort of being able to write a script from something that was a group effort? What was you know, your the, the writer, So the writer's yeah. room was an amazing experience. There was 12 of us all in the room. Um, there was a bunch of writers, writers yeah. Well. Okay. And there was a bunch of different, there were a few writing partnerships mm -hmm. in there. So it was actually nine distinct movies. <laughs> um, and really we each had our own one that was independent, that we cared about. And then it was just about giving feedback and support and encouragement. Okay, okay. And so like a it was creative a really, writing workshop. really great experience. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. So your feedback went into other scripts and yeah. other people's feedback came into yours, but then you were the one who developed your script yeah. to completion. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. And so how did you write a character mm -hmm. who can't speak or can only use radio? Like, what was the difficulty in doing that? It's a challenge, but you know what? There have been a bunch of movies that have done it really, really well, and I'm definitely not the first to do it. Wally is one of my favorite movies. Yeah. PT is one of my yeah. favorite movies. Some of the best characters can't talk, and there are lots of different ways of getting emotion across, and we are very, very lucky that we have Travis Knight, who could not be more of a pro at getting emotion yeah. out of yeah. a non-speaking character. Um, so that was very exciting. That's cool. Um, so you said, and you said you like Transformers as a kid. Which one was or is your favorite Transformer, except Bumblebee? Oh, <laughs> no, that's not fair. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you a really annoying answer. That's fine. Because it's not even a real character, or maybe, and I don't know the character's name, but it was the cassette. The cassette, which one? There's more than There's one. There's more than one. What did it turn into? Was it a tiny robot? Was it a tiny bird? Was it a tiny cat? There were options of it turning yeah. into different things? No, no, they're different characters. Oh, mine turned into a, like a cat, but it looked like Ravage. a jaguar. Ravage, Thank yes, okay, Ravage. I, li I literally okay. didn't know there were other ones that could turn into other things. Yeah. I just had my one, I thought it was awesome. We need to meet up after this and we'll show you some more. Like um, so if you could be a Transformer, uh -huh. who would you be and why? You can choose Bumblebee if you want, but you need to give a good reason. Kind of Starscream, because it feels like he's having so much fun. Yeah? I would like to think I am not a Decepticon, but it does feel like if you could, oh, be, it's good to be, if you could be a Transformer for a day, yeah. he'd have a lot of fun if you were Starscream. Is that fair? Yeah, that is very fair, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, it's very um, nice to meet you. We'll look forward to the film. And travel safe back to, you going back to Italy or to England? Italy, yeah. yeah. So, Thank wait, you. how are you getting back then? Uh, swimming. Which airline do you take? Swimming. <laughs> it's really annoying now. There used to be the direct flight to Pisa from New York, and now they've cut it. No, I'm doing uh, Seattle, Paris, Paris, Florence. Oh, Thank you. It's so annoying. The Delta took it away from us. It was great while it, it lasted. Delta, it was like three times a week. Yeah. Okay. It's very nice meeting you. It's very nice meeting you too. and then something more specific because we are a Transformer specific website so yeah so we wanted to ask you your relationship with Transformers before the Bumblebee movie like did you know them did you play with them were yeah. you a fan yeah yeah I mean uh, McDonald's had them and then the yeah, Happy, the Happy Meal one yeah. and before that actually it was when uh, Transformers Armada the, the show came out that one followed Hot Shot and that was the show that I would watch oh, as, as a kid yeah, like, that's I'm, the one that I you know because I'm not many cats. Yeah. old <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, no, not I'm everyone kidding. is old. No, right? no, no. I, I mean, obviously, you work your way back and see, like, wow, this is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was like my first introduction. Oh, no, that's it. interesting that it's Amada because Amada is like one of the not favorites, but one of the favorites of the not favorites of the series. So, that, you know, that's great to hear. Um, so, it was, well, on, it was on the TV, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Mom was like, go eat. I'm like, I can't. Well, that's nice. Awesome. That's Things are happening. Nice. Um, so, if 
if you were to take away, like, what were the unique experiences of playing in Bumblebee versus other movies that you've been in? So, you know, you've been in Spider-Man Homecoming, mm. you've been in Love, Simon. Yeah. What was different about the Bumblebee movie in that sense? Well, for one, uh, although I, I loved uh, Spider-Man and all that stuff, they've gone through so many different iterations of those characters. Yeah. But the great thing about having this be and, and it being an origin story is that I'm actually inserting myself into the existing story of the films in, in some weird way. You know, and I remember being 11 and watching Shia and Bumblebee do their thing, and now to to step into those shoes is, is, is humbling and a blessing to be able to tell the story to kids who are my age, and they'll be able to see that movie and yeah. carry on the tradition. As long as you don't become actual cannibal style above. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Uh, although he's a cool guy. But he is. He he's is. cool. He's cool. Yeah. Um, so, in terms of like bringing your own skills, your own skill set to the movie, like uh -huh. you, you, your comedic skills in particular, yes. did you have a chance to do Absolutely. much of that? Absolutely, I film? feel like yeah. yeah, definitely watch out because I feel like I am definitely the the laughs of this film. Yeah, the, 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 the comedic, comedy relief, the, co the comedic yeah. relief slash little romantic blase this and that. But it's cool, yeah, it'll be great. A lot of laughs for for my character. Good, good, good. To At least hear. I would hope. I hope they land. We'll find out. We'll see. I'm sure, I think I'm sure, it'll, I'm sure it'll work. Hey guys, it'll work. I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> see, we laughed. It works. We get a little more confidence, you know. Like right. That's, uh... <laughs> um, so <laughs> I always feel like, damn, do people understand my sarcasm? I what sarcasm? That's awesome. But it, exactly, what sarcasm? What do sarcasm? I mean it? Do I not? Is it a joke? Am I great? Am I not? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, dude. So I mean, if you could be any transformer, who would you be and why? Hotshot, because he was Hotshot. like, yeah, he was the main guy in Armada who was yeah. kind of stirring up all the trouble and whatnot. Oh, this is such in a fact, good answer. I, I this even, is such a good answer. I didn't even yeah, know thank you. Bumblebee. Like the first guy for me yeah. was Hotshot, and then I'm like, who's this Bumblebee? This is not the, this is not Transformers when the movies came out. And then I learned, oh, this is the, the second. Yeah, this is their fighter yeah. from this. Oh, okay, but Hotshot was my first one, so I got to go with. It. Scotty P and Counterpunch and yeah, Bob are gonna they, they're gonna flip out. Yeah, like some of our other admins are gonna flip out. I've seen out it. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm been inside. Yeah. Oh, well, thank dude, you very thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. you guys have a good one. All right, have a good one. One more. Yes. For one, as a kid, this is the franchise that I really gravitated towards. It's something that was very dear to me. It's something I saw at 11 years old, and and it, it feels crazy and humbling to to come full circle with it. It's something that I grew up watching, now I'm a part of it, and now there'll be people who are my age who will be able to watch this, so to be a part of especially such a, a great franchise is really just great. Oh, well, this is, it's, it's, it's like how is those Transformers movies different from the cartoons and stuff. It's totally different. I mean, what Travis does with the characters in this story has, you know, so much heart. I mean, I think you'll see a side of B that, you know, you've never seen before. I mean, it's so fun to come out here and see the excitement uh, on something that we've worked so hard on. And it's crazy because this turnaround feels like forever, but it's actually quite fast for everything that they have to do in post-production. So I'm excited and I'm even more excited walking out of here because of, because of the fans. Honestly, the experience in itself is really unlike anything I've ever done. Just uh, this a film with this much... Uh, action and visual effects and I mean the cast is incredible Travis Knight our director is amazing um, I am most looking forward to seeing the film as a whole distinctly remember watching that one for the first time and and I love them all I think they're all incredibly done and visually insane and and an experience uh, but the first one I love and I think we sort of you know, there's a similarity between our movie and that first movie in that it's very character driven and it's a coming of age story and um, it's different yeah. in that it is very character driven um, and storyline driven and of course there is the action that the Transformers films are known for but um, it's really all about the, the characters in this movie. One question? One no, question? No, no, just pool. We just drink pool. She's always been the one transformer that had the deepest connection with people, whether it was affinity for humanity 
And I think that's an interesting thing. Why is that? You know, he's a stranger in a strange land. Why does he connect with us in a way that the other robots don't necessarily? And I thought this film offered us an opportunity to explore not only why that would be about him, but what does that say about ourselves? So to me, it felt like it was a real great opportunity to dive into one of these characters on a, on a, on a smaller scale and figure out what makes him tick. And I, I think we did it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you. Leaving? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let's sign What would be your Of course, you're going to go get the same. I'm just leaving the audio running, is that okay? Yep. How big is it running? Yeah. But I did make sure that it was Thank you for the Thanks, guys. Yeah. I've been for 10 years. Be aggressive and What do you want me to ask him? Take a question or two. I don't know. Introduce yourself. I like Sabertron. What is the most time you what are the ones that we came up with? Thank you. Good. Do we have a chance yeah. to ask about it? Travis, yes. Yeah. Travis, hi, thank you. Hey. Nice to meet you. I'm not uh, kidding, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yes, okay. Your favorite Transformer, except for Bumblebee, what would it be? Uh, on the Autobot side, Wheeljack, he's awesome. Yeah. He's, we, they were the first two that we saw in the cartoon. Yeah. And on the Decepticon side, I love all the waves, but I would have to say Soundwave, yeah. Excellent, yeah. And so if you could turn into a Transformer, who would it be and why? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, I, don't, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, you probably have to go Optimus Prime because he's the, he's, the, he's the toughest one. <laughs> okay. But I don't really feel like a Peter Optimus Bill Prime, it will be. Yeah, all right. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Thanks, Thank you, Travis. We, you know, we wanted to make sure for this film that it was a really deeply emotional film. That, you know, while at the same time it has action, it has spectacle, it has all the things that people come to expect in a Transformers film, we wanted to ground it in something that was really deep and emotional and character driven. And so, because of that, it meant that our, our actors had to be extraordinary, that they could really bring that kind of emotion to the set. When oftentimes they're acting against something that isn't there, you know, Bumblebee is a CG generated character. And so, Haley and John Cena and, and George, when they act against him, there's nothing there. And so we have to talk through what the emotions are, what's happening, what the choreography is going to be like. But it's all theater of the mind stuff. Usually it's a, you know, it's a tennis ball on a stick. And so we ne really needed you know, actors of extraordinary ability and imagination to be able to pull off that authentic emotion in order to convey the, the kinds of feelings that we were going for the film. And I think we got in this cast. She really is extraordinary. I think that was one of her biggest concerns going into this project was, you know, you get a response when you're working with other actors is that she was going to have to essentially fly blind. So it was a, it was a, it was a pretty uh, tricky challenge, but she is so exceptionally talented and, she's, and a great artist in her own right. We're able to talk through these scenes and she does an amazing job. I think people will really be moved by her performance. You know, there are analogs. There's a lot of it that, that's the same, and then there are a whole host of things that are different. I mean, my animation background, going back 20 years, really did help me in the sense of, you know, one of the main characters in the film is an animated character. And so that same kind of disciplined perspective that I bring to animation, I was able to bring to that side of the performance. You know, but working, you know, with actors, you know, on locations, and there's all sorts of challenges on, in a live action film that you never experience when you're in a controlled, contained environment when you're working in animation. It just required me to be a little bit more nimble than I typically am, and it's a lot faster. I mean, my last film, Kubo, took five years to make. This one, we were, we were done shooting in a matter of months, so it's a lot faster, but uh, it was an amazing experience. As when I was a kid, I grew up loving these characters. I, they, they meant a lot to me. I had these toys, I watched the cartoons, I read the comic books. So the idea that for, you know, for a 10-year-old me would grow up to make a film about these very same characters that I loved, it really is kind of extraordinary. I feel like I'm very, very lucky. certainly want the people who have followed the Transformers franchise since its inception to be pleased with the effort. I think, I think we've done a good job of, of staying true to the franchise. But I also want to attract new fans. And I think the reason we will do this is because the story is so well told. Um, 
we're taking a step back and maybe the amount of uh, Transformers you're going to see to get people to believe in the personalities of these Transformers and the actors that uh, are involved. Thank you. Anybody else? Do you have a yeah. love interest in the movie? Um, I think it's more of a it's more of a love of revenge. Oh, okay. No Bumble Bays. Um, I don't know. You'll, you'll have to see the movie to decide. Although that was, was well played. I almost want to say yes because that was so awesome. If you, you were to turn into a Transformer, who would it be and why? Who? Any. Any Transformer. That's, that's tough. I was asked if I could transform into anything. Yeah. Supersonic Flight would definitely be... Uh, Okay. Just because it would save me time. So I think anything that falls <laughs> into the category of super science. Okay, okay. Right. What do you admire most about your character? The fact that I could do something different. And that's a great question uh, because now I'm going to give you a little bit of information that I probably shouldn't. Um, I, think, I think my intentions are right. So how was it like to actually uh, Bumblebee? It was, it was different. It was different because when you act with Bumblebee, you're acting with like this tripod and a tennis ball on top. But it was extra special because of our director, Travis Knight, had the ability to see the movie before he could make it, like most directors do, but also the ex ability to explain his vision. And, and so I can understand. So he was uh, an instrumental part of making this movie as heartfelt as it is. Thank you very much. Uh, Agents yeah. are not normally the good guys. They're all easy antagonistic to them. Uh, I, I am excited for Bumble Meeting about December 21st and hope everybody that loves Transformers enjoys the movie. And that's the answer I can give you. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. One of the more challenging things and interesting things that, that drew me to this, not only to be a part of the Transformers franchise, but certainly the, the role they asked me to play. Um, I get to be a, what I like to call a conflicted individual. Uh, people are using the word villain, but I think Agent Burns truly believe, believes in his mind he's doing right. Uh, and his journey through the film is, is also an interesting one. And, and Travis Knight has done such a good job of, of making all of these characters people you can invest in. And I think that's why the, the trailer moved so many people. I think that's why the movie is going to uh, re, re, um, rekindle the passion for this franchise and also get new audiences. So I was, I was really happy that they put a lot of depth in, in Agent Burns and they, they kind of gave me a little bit of freedom to run with it as well. And I think this is a great approach, taking a, a giant step back, not only in time, but in presentation as well, and focusing on just a few characters and hoping we do a good enough job as performers where an audience member sits down and gets invested. So we're not, we're not going without the action, but we're, we're giving them great action, we're giving our, our fans great action, and we're allowing them to invest in these characters. I was, I was telling uh, Travis and, and Haley and George, I love fandom. I love to see passion. And th this is why I love gatherings like this. Uh, I was just in a conversation about the, the passion of K-pop to somebody else, but I like to see passionate people because it shows that they believe in something. So watching it from afar, walking the floor, I love it. These people are here because they believe, because they're invested. They're, they're the reason we're here. And, and that's very important not to lose sight of. And I, and I love watching that, whether I'm in the middle of it in the WWE ring and I can look around and see it and feel it, or whether I'm looking at it from afar when I watch people file into the convention center, or whether I'm in the middle of a panel. Like, it's all really, really special because these people care, and that's, that's the bottom line, and it's our job to, to keep them caring.